Dick Van Dyke Show. Starring Dick Van Dyke. Rosemary, Maury Amsterdam, Larry Matthews, and Mary Tyler Moore. I don't care what time it had to Oh, we better get home. We can't work. We can't even talk. We gotta work. <sighs> what are you doing, Rob? I think if all the blood rushes to my head, I'll wake up. Time in the morning, the blood don't rush. It creeps. <laughs> hey, Rob, you need heels. <laughs> What's he doing? He was walking on the ceiling and he fell off. Uh, Rob, I'm going home. Do you mind locking up? Oh, how do you like that? This morning we were writers, now we're janitors. No, actually, we're neither one. We're vampires. We write sketches by night, and when the sun comes up, they die. <laughs> we're going to have to come up with something that Alan won't drive a stake through, though. Oh, I have a feeling you're not really trying, Rob. Uh, not really trying. Buddy, give it up. Mel, you're very bald. <laughs> I guess I'm just too tired to think of a good one. Exhaustion becomes you. Right. There's a half a pot of coffee in my office if you want it. Oh, thank you. Our pot died about an hour ago. Good night. I mean, good morning, don't you? All right, fellas, come on, let's go to work. Huh? I'd like to go home while I'm still young. <coughs> come on now, everybody concentrate. Think. Hey, are we the only ones alone in this big building? Yeah, I guess so. Gee, no wonder I feel kind of spooky. All right, buddy, cut it out with the spooky jazz. Yeah, just us in this great big empty building. Kind of like being the last living cell than a dead body, eh? Thanks a lot, Boris. That's all I needed. Uh, I think we're all just a little bit punchy. Hey, maybe some of Mel's coffee will help. Come on, buddy, help me get the cups. Uh, all right, but you stick with me. I like company when I'm wandering around in a dead building. <coughs> Bring me some, will you? Uh, uh. I'm too tired to hurt. <laughs> oh. What do you say? Hey. Buddy, Sally, it's a little late at night for playing games, if you don't mind. You said, I don't care what it said. Just leave me alone. What did it say? Well, I don't, it, it mumbled. It mumbled, huh? All the flying saucers in the world, he has to get one with a speech impediment. <laughs> I tell you, I, I saw a flying saucer out there. It had, had lightning bolts on it and everything. Sure. What kind of lightning bolts? Oh, well, you know, like, uh, like Brick Bradford used to have on his shirt. Who's Brick Bradford? That guy in the comic books, you know. Oh. Hey, boy, you sure you didn't see Brick, too? You don't believe me, do you? Rob, look, we're all tired. Now, look, you fell asleep and you just dreamed it. Come on, have some coffee. I tell you, I wasn't asleep. I dozed off there, but the talking woke me up. Again with the talking? Oh. Ah, what did it say? Well, I, I don't know. I'm not sure, but I swear to you, it talked. It said, I said, O'Neill. Sounded like Sonny Tufts. Sonny <laughs> <Honey> Tufts? <laughs> Rob, you didn't see a flying saucer. Why? 
Well, because you think if any one of those things landed here on Earth, that the first person they'd ask to see would be Sonny Tops? <laughs> There's no mention of your flying saucer. Yeah, well, maybe this edition came out before I made the sighting. You mean before you think you made the sighting? What about the radio? I'll check the radio, the newspaper, and the sky, and your saucer's in none of them. How do we know there is an intelligent life on some other planet? I mean, even if it is only moss. Darling, moss couldn't possibly have built a spaceship with Rick Bradford's insignia and Sonny Tuff's voice. No, I don't care. Uh, highly, I don't mean the kind of moss we have around here anyway. I mean highly intelligent moss. Could have built almost oh, anything. darling. There are so many explanations that you just refuse to accept. You could have been asleep and dreaming, which is what I think. Or you could have seen a blimp with an advertisement on it, a, a, a sign, a bird, even a child's toy. A child's toy hovering over Manhattan at 3 o'clock in the morning, I suppose. Well, it could have been a low star, too, for that matter. People are always mistaking those things for flying saucers. Honey, I have read all the factual information there is about flying saucers. This falls into none of those categories. This is new, and this is different. I want to do it. Do what? I want to report it to the National Space Bureau. Oh, no. What's their number? I still say we're dreaming. I have got to report it. Dreams you report to a psychiatrist. The hello, yes. Uh, do you have a number for the uh, National Space Bureau? Washington? Well, listen, don't you have anything cheap? Uh, uh, closer? <laughs> no, no, that is fine. That will do very good. Thank you. They've got a radar tracking station right out on Long Island. I'm going to let them do all the talking. Well, darling, how can you make a report if they do all the talking? Yeah. <laughs> Just try not to sound like some kind of a nut. Hello there. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, I'm a uh, private citizen here in the United States. <laughs> and, uh, I, I want you to understand that I'm, I'm not the, the uh, kind of person who makes these kind of phone calls, so I don't want you to think that I am that kind of person. I hate that kind of person, you see. Ma'am, uh... Uh, is there a scientist there? Uh, maybe I could talk to her someone. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, is, is there a man scientist there? I could... No, I see. Well, <clears throat> ma'am, I would like to report something I sighted over Manhattan about 3 o'clock this morning. Did anybody else see that? <laughs> uh, well, <clears throat> uh, uh, for lack of a better description of it, I'll, I'll have to refer to it as a flying saucer. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> No one, uh, no one else reported that. Uh, well, of course, it's, it's a little bit early yet, ma'am. No, no. Well, thank you very much. I, I'm very sorry to have troubled you. My, my name? Uh, you could just, uh, just uh, say that I'm a, a patriot. Thank you. <laughs> All right, you can say I told you so. But she knew exactly what I was talking about. She was afraid to say anything because it was somebody listening in. Who? I don't know who, but I know darn well I heard more than one person laughing. <laughs> Hey, Phil. Oh, oh, hi, Rob. <laughs> Boy, am I glad to see you here so I can impose on you. Anytime, Rob. <laughs> uh, you sit down? Yeah, or fine. Would you like me to lie down? <laughs> no, no, you just sit. I'm sorry, you're the only, only psychiatrist I commute with. <laughs> well, what's on your mind, Rob? Well, nothing really, Phil. I've, except I have been working awfully hard lately. Oh, I can tell that. You can? Oh, sure. The show's better than ever. Oh, well, thank you, Rob. Yeah, especially last week when Alan played a talking radish. Hey, Rob, was that yours? Well, as a matter of fact, a particular idea was I knew it. I told Marge. Only Rob Petrie could come up with a crazy idea like that. Oh? <laughs> Rob, I don't know how you do it. You got the wildest imagination. Boy, I sure have, Phil. <laughs> Listen, I'm, that might be what I want to talk to you about. Phil, what do you think of a guy who sees a flying saucer? Well, it could be funny, but the, the talking <laughs> radish, Rob. Right? That, that's not exactly what I meant, Phil. What, what I meant. What I'm trying to say is, I really saw a flying saucer. You did? Yeah. What do you think? Do you, am I crazy? Well, who's to say what's crazy? Well, <laughs> can't you? <laughs> I mean, all, everybody I've told about it. <laughs> Rob, you want to tell me all about it? Well, look, I want to pay for it. Oh, don't be crazy. <laughs> well, <laughs> last night, we were all working very, very late. I looked out the window. I saw a flying saucer with a brick Bradford insignia on it and everything. Now, Buddy and Sally were out getting coffee. They told me that I was sound asleep. And I know that I know a, a blimp or something like that when I see one. Now, am I crazy? 
You were working late. Yeah. Well, Rob, I don't think it's anything to be alarmed about. Under the circumstances, it's just not that unusual. Why is it? it, it, it is, I'm the only one that is unusual to. Yeah, because I'm the only one who saw it. That's right. Now, look, Rob, you were tired. It's possible that you were asleep and just dreamed you saw this flying saucer. No, no, I was awake. I was standing up and pacing. No, I no. wasn't asleep. When you're very, very fatigued, it's possible for the mind to go to a sleep for, oh, just a split second. Then you can dream, and you're not even aware that you've been asleep. My eyes were open. You thought they were open. That's how accidents happen on the road. You mean like you think you see a city out on a desert, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's right. You mean the whole thing could have been a mirage? How about that? Yeah, something like that. So I'm not necessarily crazy. No, not necessarily. <laughs> but Rob, I'll tell you what I think it is. I think you're just tired. Now, if you take my advice, you'll stay home today and get some sleep. I can't. We're working late in the night. Well, how long are you going to keep this up? Well, tonight's the last night, anyway. Boy, I'm glad you explained it to me. At least if I see that darn thing again, I'll know what it is. Rob, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you something here. I'll lend it to you. Oh, This will keep you awake. Those things safe? Yeah, yeah, take one of them. I think they're safe. They should be. I bought them at the checkout stand at the supermarket. <laughs> the nervy derbies. Oh, nervy derbies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll keep you up. Yeah, well, at least it's better than a flying saucer any day. <laughs> Phil, I can't thank you enough for this. Well, that's nothing. Just give me a couple of tickets for the show. You got them. Well, I'll see you on the train. Okay. Uh, young man, excuse me. Yes? Did you see the flying saucer this morning? Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm awfully glad to hear that. I thought I was going crazy. Did you see it too? Yes. Where? In my celestial charts. Let me see your palm. <laughs> oh, he's right. You couldn't possibly have seen a flying saucer. Why not? Your skyline is much too small. <laughs> is much too big. <laughs> now, if we just type up those last two pages, we can go home. Oh, can't we do that tomorrow, Rob? Well, we ought to be in tonight. Look, I've got my nervy derby. Why don't I stay here and do it, huh? You sure you don't mind? No, only take a minute. You don't mind being all alone here? I told you. I'm not sleepy, so I'm not going to see any more flying saucers. Good, and if any of them show up and say anything to you, ignore them. Hey, Rob. You sure you don't want one of us to stay and keep you company? I'm not afraid of the dark. Don't worry about it. Okay. I'll see you guys in the morning, okay? <laughs> I, I didn't expect that from you, Rob. I'm sorry, Mel. I didn't expect you. <laughs> well, I hope the script is ready. It'll be ready in a few minutes. Oh, good. Well, we'll drop it in the outgoing pickup box. Yeah, I'd like to drop you in the outgoing pickup box. <laughs> yeah. Well, go ahead and yeah. Don't be lonely now. Yeah, I won't. All right, don't fall asleep. <laughs> okay. Why did I think of that? <laughs> At least I've got time to concentrate. Time to concentrate on noises that are going to scare me. Give me the script. How did I get over there? I could have sworn that was over here. so empty, why do I have the feeling I'm being watched? <laughs> Night. 
better. Hello? Rob? Oh, hi, honey. You sound a little strange. No, I'm fine. Oh, well, I just called to find out when you'd be home. Well, I'm about just as quick as I can, honey. It's no fun being that last living cell in a dead building. Rob, are you sure you're all right? I'm positive. You're not tired? No, I'm fine. I took a, I took, I took a nervy derby. A what? Well, it's a, it's a patent pet pill Phil gave me. Gave me. <laughs> honey, did you just say yoni oops? Oh, no, not again. No, no, it, it, it must have been the water cooler bourbon again. <laughs> Hey, honey, I'll be home about an hour if I can, okay? All right, bye. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that either. I heard that. <laughs> Now I'm wide awake. I'm not asleep. I'm too wide awake. There. Man, it's not there. I might think I'm signaling. Do you think I want somebody to hear me? You son of a gun, you oniops me. Bob, I've done a lot of rotten things in my life. I never oniops anybody. You didn't oniops me? No, I just came back here for my purse. Your purse? Yeah, the one I bought for pickles for her birthday. Oh. Boy, you must have been dreaming. I must have been asleep. Seems so real. Oh, you dream real good. Did you hear it? Yeah. Oh, I wonder where it's coming from. It's coming out of that, out of that ventilator. It's got to be a dream. How could a flying saucer get in a ventilator? I heard it too. How do I know I'm not dreaming you? <laughs> Gotta come back to the purse. It's not a dream. It's coming from one of those floors upstairs. I want to find out which one. Well, well, wait a minute. How come all of a sudden you got so brave? Look, if I'm dreaming, I can't get hurt. Yeah, yeah but does that, that include guest stars, too? <laughs> you don't have to go. Oh, no, I ain't staying here with your flying on the office. <laughs> creatures. It's in there. <laughs> Rob, how many people in your dream? Just us. Well, then it ain't no dream. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, oh you're a human. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sure glad of that. Who are you? And why are you spying at doors? We're, we're riders. We were downstairs working late. Yeah, and if he ain't still sleeping, there's a there's a flying saucer renting this office. <laughs> Come on, young man. Hear that? That's the saucer talking. Perhaps it was the wind. Well, I guess that wraps that up. Let's go home. Come on, buddy. You know it's not the wind. The rain? I'm going to call the police. Good idea. Come on to my house. We'll call from there. <laughs> Hey, just a moment, gentlemen. Do you really believe this? Well, if we don't, we're wasting a lot of good fear. Don't you want to phone the police? You bet I do. The least they can do is join my friends and say I'm crazy. Well, perhaps you should investigate. Hey, I think he's nuttier than you are. Will you come, please, into my office? That's your office? Yes. Hey, I, please, I, I think we better in. go. Oh, okay, go ahead. Please. 
Like some kind of a laboratory. Yeah, Frankenstein's. Stein. <laughs> it's all right, Hugo. Yeah, friends of ours. Uh, yeah, we're, we're friends of his. They know about the saucer. There is a saucer. Hey, you tricked us. You don't know how upsetting it is for you and me that you have uncovered us. Consider yourself recovered. Come on, Rob. <laughs> I beg you to stay a moment longer. Please, don't, don't beg. I hate to see a man beg. Beg? What for? You have to give me your word of honor that you won't tell what you are about to see. I, I think we've seen enough. There is a saucer, but not from out of space. It's ours. You mean it belongs to us? No, just to you and me. <laughs> we made it. Here in this building? Yeah, there are too many spies around here, so we had to work undercover. But now that you know about it, you're threatening our security. I, I never threatened anybody's anything. <laughs> then you won't say anything? Not nothing. Well, wait, wait a minute. I'm not going to promise anything. Oh, I, I'll promise everything. I'll, I'll keep quiet forever. <laughs> not forever. Just until Christmas. Christmas? Yeah. Then we are going to unveil the Sasa. It will take the world by storm. Just you and Hugo, huh? Yeah. It will make us the ruler of the toy world. The toy world? Yeah. You guys are toys? <laughs> hey, Laura was right. The thing I saw was just a toy. Not just a toy. It's the ultimate toy. Here. Look. That's my saucer. It flies. It zooms around. It hoovers. Hovers. Yeah, it does that too. <laughs> and it talks. It says oniups, doesn't it? What does that mean? It means that we have failed. We blew it. It's supposed to say, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas? Yeah, but I just can't seem to lick it. Some toy. Please, help us. Three years of my life I'm that saucer. And a year and a half of mine. Yeah, without Merry Christmas. Well, I tell you, you can count on us. With one condition. Ah, to leave a I should have known that. How much? Well, I'd say about five minutes. I want to make a zoom around a room once. Huh? Oh, man! Oh, that's wonderful. Here, please. But please, don't make it talk. It upsets me. Oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas. You improved it? Yeah. Push the button. 